Today we're going to make something that is a dinner for two that's easy to make. It only takes about a half an hour. You can make it with completely organic ingredients for the reason that this is one of those meals that you can stretch. We're going to start with chicken that is chicken thighs in a little cutlet form. Also we'll be adding some vegetables. We'll be actually adding the rice in a separate pan. Now I want to talk to you about this very briefly. This is arborio rice. If you can see it, it has a sharp white contrast in part of each kernel. This makes its own sauce and it's extremely warm, stick to your ribs kind of a meal. Now I am Italian, I know how this is really made, but I'm gonna show you a fast version that you can afford to make completely organically. Into the pan with the risotto, we're going to put a half of a yellow onion and also a large clove of garlic. Normally this would be, oh, a big shallot or a shallot and a half, but I don't have any, so we're going to substitute. And then over here, this is a separate uh, vegetable that we're going to make on the side and it will garnish at the end. So let's get started chopping. This is going with our pan of risotto. Now let's get at the veggies that we're going to cook on the side. Over here we have some red pepper and broccoli. And first up, let's get the red pepper meat ready to go. All right, let's get this broccoli ready to go. We're just gonna cut it in from the inside. Our last little bit of prep is to take these slices of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, put them in a bag, and we're going to pound them out just a little bit so they cook more evenly and we don't have to worry that any of it will be on the rare side when we get to cooking it in a pan. So all we have to do Let's get going. To start the risotto, first we want to put our olive oil in the pan and either shallot or yellow onion with garlic. We're going to get this somewhat wilted, but don't use salt. This recipe is very salty without the addition of salt, so let's just let this cook down a little bit and we'll go to the next step. The oil's flavored very nicely, so now we're going to take our arborio rice, pour it in the pan, and this is a quarter of a cup of arborio rice per person for each serving. And we want to brown up the rice, not exactly browning it, but we do want to heat it, and you want to stir it until you can smell the nutty flavor of the rice starting to cook. Now is the theme to the rest of the cooking of the risotto. The rest is evaporation. If you have a glass of white wine, this is about eight ounces of white wine, you can add it to your pan. And I do have it on high heat. We're going to completely evaporate the white wine from this pan and then we're going to begin adding chicken broth. Now normally in risotto you would use hot chicken broth in another pan. I just pour it straight out of the box. It works just as well. It's room temperature. So let's get this completely reduced and then we'll add chicken broth. Okay, the white wine is almost completely evaporated. You want to continuously stir risotto because it will stick. And now we're going to start adding chicken broth. And just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Stir in all the rice. And you might want to adjust the flame down just a little bit if it's getting, uh, if it's boiling too furiously. Otherwise, keep it cooking, keep it evaporating. And as soon as this runs down, we're going to add more chicken broth. It'll be about one box of chicken broth, or four cups, to a half a cup of arborio rice. All right, it's 
evaporating, becoming stickier. We're going to let it go a little longer and add more. More chicken broth. And while that's cooking away, we are also going to start cooking our veggies. Okay, let's go. This is just going to be sautéing vegetables. No salt, no pepper, just veggies. to risotto and we're far from finished is a little lump of butter and a good grating of Parmesan cheese. So let's get this Parmesan going so we'll be ready when risotto is finished. All right, I'm getting some progress on the grated cheese here. We've got one last thing to do with the chicken before we get ready to cook that. So come on over to the other side with me and we'll take care of the chicken. These are pounded out pieces of organic chicken thigh. They've already been salted and peppered on one side. Now we're salting and peppering on the other side. And we're just about ready to get to these. You might be able to see that this is already starting to form its own sauce. So this is cooking very, very nicely. We're going to remove the veggies from the pan, and we're going to use the same pan to cook our chicken. Okay, a little bit of oil in a pan that I've turned the heat down considerably, and we're going to get an egg beaten. We're going to put our chicken right into the egg mixture and toss it. Get egg on all sides of each piece. Drudge them in a little flour. Shake it off and put them right in the pan. And we'll just go ahead and get the rest of these in the pan. And get that rice stirred. Grate a little more cheese and it'll be time to eat. Chicken is going to go at least five minutes on each side. You can see that, if you can see, <clears throat> that this is beginning to stick, so we have to get some more broth in here. And I'm gonna say it's going to take tonight probably four cups of broth to make the, the right consistency. Risotto has the most warming sensation when you eat it. And also I want you to know that usually in risotto, meat is not the featured player. It's vegetables and rice. So we're putting a little meat on the side just to make it a little heartier. All right, let's finish the risotto. The last two additions to risotto are a knob of butter, and you need to mix that in. And you can see that this is making a beautiful sauce of its own. We're gonna mix in the butter, and then sprinkle in the Parmesan cheese. Turn off the heat and let it melt in. Now the most important thing you want to know about risotto is it won't keep. You're going to be eating dinner right away. Time. Let's put a little vegetable garnish onto the risotto. And you can just put it along the side here. And then we're going to add our chicken. Pile two little cutlets over here. And it's time to eat. This is a very filling dinner. I think you'll enjoy it.